Hey everybody, it's Dave Chamberlain with dbwproductions.com and recordla.com for yet another cool tutorial on how to get a talk box effect using Guitar Rig 5. The way I did it was I made a guitar amp setup. In this case, I'm using the simple twang reverb with a distortion pedal in front of it. And the filter that's going to give me that sort of vowel like quality of a talk box is called the Tractors 12 Format Filter. And you can find that here inside of the filters. So you just drag it into your rack at the end of the chain. And the next thing that I wanted to do once I put it in there was be able to automate some of these knobs. Well, I can automate that inside of my DAW, but I wanted to have Guitar Rig's built-in um, automators, which is called the LFO here, do the automation for me. And the LFO is found in modifiers. So once again, drag one of those onto your rack. I'm actually using two. So if you want to follow along, do exactly what I do. Drag two of those in there. The top LFO here is going to make my talk knob move. So right now, I'll play it for you without anything, just the amp sound. Okay, kind of boring. So now I put in the format filter. Turn that on. So that sounds a little more like what I was thinking, but then if you move this talk knob as it plays back, see what happens. Okay, so one way to do that is you can automate that inside your DAW, and I'm not going to go into that right now, but using this LFO here, I'm going to automatically do that. So the way that you do that is once it's loaded in the rack, you drag this crosshair to whatever you want to automate. So in this case, I drag it over to the talk. So just drag it and let go like that. Turn it on. So a couple things that you're going to be, need to pay attention to. Make sure this triangle is open here so you can see this bottom slider. This is going to tell you how much the knob is going to move with the wave here. I'm using a triangle wave. You can experiment with the other waves that are included, but maybe try the triangle for starters. I'm also dragging this line down. This is the offset. This kind of tells me it's going to ramp up and go that direction, and it's going to go turn the other way just a little bit. You can kind of adjust this, and you're going to see the knob is going to react accordingly. When it's the middle, it's going to kind of go back and forth either direction from where it's starting from. So I want it to go mostly up. So I have it mostly down like that. Another thing to adjust is the restart function. This makes it re-trigger every time it detects a transient, so make sure that's turned on so it just doesn't rotate continuously. And then the sync button here is turned on. I have it set to whole notes. So once again, you can just experiment with whatever works for your song. And let's see what happens now. Definitely sounds a little more real. So the next thing I thought about trying to automate is the size knob. So let me just do that with my mouse first, see what kind of effect I get. Okay, so it's the same approach. You use another LFO, drag it over, drop it on size, and adjust your parameters. I have them set kind of similar. I think this one has very little motion with this slider. It's... The depth is very minimal. Let me just play this from the top so we can check it out. Thanks for watching. Make sure you go to dbwproductions.com or recordla.com for all your high quality music production needs.